So good evening everybody. It's now the 19th of May. We're here in the Poitiers section as we've called it. Just a little update on the diary. Had a bit of a disaster yesterday. Uh, I was had to go somewhere. Uh, Again, my board's a 70 mile toss. So I brought my hands with me, all hands, 16 hands, 10 from in here, six from the other section. Boards were released at 3.20, 3.15, 3.20 yesterday. A fantastic day for a toss, I have to say. It's a beautiful day out. And I uh, had a bit of a smash. Uh, I got home two and a half hours later. No boards home. Uh, last night, five boards home, up to close, up to dark. This morning, another two. Then I got one, this hand down, the, down here, smashed up. Absolutely massive hole in her side. Uh, unbelievable. She's finished for the season. Uh, so out of the 16, I think I'm up to 13 now. Uh, all in all. So all of these hands, actually the Poitiers section, all, uh, all 10 of these hands have actually turned up. And in here, actually, I don't seem to be, I know of one hand in here. Uh, that hand up there is missing from the top box. That's one. Uh, she was there. So I, I, th yeah, I think I'm three down. I think I'll now have torn in home from an absolute smash. Now, by the looks of it, uh, there was more than one uh, board of prey strike. I've had four boards coming back with half wings. So that's a, that's four of them finished. And that hand, as I mentioned, down the bottom there with a hole in her side. So uh, not much I can do about it, but we just roll with the punches. I'm still on target for eight of these going to Poitiers. Uh, it just depends on which eight now. My four two-year-old hands have turned up, but again, uh, that hand in there is one of them and she is finished. Uh, so we'll just have to play it by year. Uh, in two weeks time, I'm going, and now I have a, uh, an opportunity to give them a 100 mile toss. So everything, as I mentioned, will be coming with me. To that one and we just hopefully not get such a bad hog strike i was a bit disappointed but that's the way it is that's that's pigeon racing that's what happens when you train them you know there's nothing we can do except they have to come through it and in all fairness they've come through it they're actually in great nick considering the ordeal they've been through and i'm not worried at all we're just gonna keep going the reason i brought the hands yesterday was it was just a short notice uh, a short notice appointment I've had trained all of these cocks all week out to about 60 miles with the local guy that trains and uh, I haven't had the hens out in over a week well over two weeks actually because they were laying eggs so as you can see they're all sitting tight on their eggs now that's the two gay cocks there the rest are all sitting tight on their eggs as you see and down the bottom there she's on the last one to arrive home in the corner there but uh no, they're all good. So they'll just be left alone now for another week before they get taken out of the loft. Let them let them settle back down, and then I get them, give them a couple of tosses before they go to Waterford as well. Okay, bye bye.